Hi, I'm John and welcome to my channel. In today's spray paint video, I'm going to be comparing MTN 94 spray paint, which is made by Montana Colors, against Montana Gold, which is made by Montana Cans. So the MTN 94 spray paint has a low pressure valve system and has a matte finish to it. Whereas the Montana Gold is also a low pressure valve system, but has a semi-gloss finish to it. I'll be painting each of the paintings on glossy paper I'll be using some lid stencils, which are just off food tubs, three different sizes. I'll be using this cone shaped food tub with a hole in the bottom. I'll be using this piece of card where I put a hole in the middle. I'll be using some weights visa to hold the lid stencils in place while I do the background. And I'm going to be using three types of material to do the texture for this video. And they are some dustbin bag, black dustbin bag. I'm going to be using the wrapper off a canvas. And I'm also going to be using some magazine paper to show you how each of the materials make different textures. And the caps I'll be using on the cans are the stock caps. So the MTN 94 comes with a standard skinny cap. And the Montana Gold comes with a gold cap. And the colours I'm going to be using are pretty similar to each other. So for the MTN 94, I'm going to be using matte white, Hulk green, matte black and light yellow. And for the Montana Gold, I'm going to be using shock green light, shock white pure, shock black and yellow submarine. So the first thing we're going to do is get the lid stencils and place them on the sheet where you want your planets to go. So like I said, I'm going to be doing three different types of textures. So I'm going to be doing three different planets. So I'm going to have the planets like this. And I'll also get the other ones. And what we'll do is get a colour and spray around each of them. So the first thing I can notice with the MTN 94 is the smell. It's like a vanilla-y, sweety smell that it gives off. Quite a nice smell to it, to be honest. So now we'll get the Montana Gold and just spray around the lid stencils, give you an outline. And so we'll take the lid stencils off, place them out of the way for now. So the Montana's gold's got a bit of smell to it, but not that much. Not as strong as some other spray paints. So now we've got the outlines for the planets. We're going to fill in each outline with some colours. So the first one I'm going to do is this one here with the MTN 94. So what I'll do first is get the Hulk green. And we'll just spray some green here. And then some of the light yellow over top. So I'm just going to do a block two colours for these planets. And then some black. And some white. So the first material I'm going to use to do some texture with is the dustbin bag, the black dustbin bag. So all we're going to do is just crunch it up so we get some lines, crinkles in it so we can produce some texture. And we'll just place it over the top of a wet paint and give it a light rub. And then we'll just peel it off to produce some texture. So I quite like how that texture's turned out. I think the dustbin bags worked really well for that. So we'll do some highlights and shadows on it. So I'll press the cap down lightly. And that cap produces a nice mist there, nice fine mist there. And I have a shadowed area. I really like how these caps are working. They're not laying too much paint out. There's no spitting from them or anything. 
which is which is good valve systems really like to use really easy to press the cap down and control the flow of paint coming out so what i'm going to do for each of these i'm going to move on to this one and i'm going to do the dustbin bag texture on this i'm going to move between each one to show you what the differences between the paint and the textures when i'm doing each one so onto the shop light green now we'll do the same fill it in with the yellow over the top and a bit of black and some white so we'll go back to the dustbin bag crinkle it up a bit get some lines crinkles in it and place it over wet paint we'll just put some texture in it, rub it light then we'll peel it back off so as you can see it's giving a similar texture to that one the colours are pretty much the same but just a shade slightly different, I can't get the right shades because they're two different makes of paint so the shades will be slightly different but they're as close as I can get them so I'm quite liking the texture on that one. So we'll go to highlights and shadows. So we'll press, use a white first, press the cap lightly, and we'll just mist it. And then we'll go to the black. Put a bit of black there for the shadow. So them caps are working all right up to now, the gold caps. Usually these gold caps start spitting at some point but they're all right at the moment as i progress through the painting he might start spitting but we'll have to see so now we've got them two with the dustbin bag done i'm really happy with both of them i really like them textures on them we'll move on to these ones here and for these ones i'm going to be using the canvas wrapper to do the texture so again we'll get the green and the yellow and then some black and some white so as you can see some of the paint starts separating a bit that's because i put too much paint in a small area so the paint starts separating from each other but it's not too much of a problem when you're doing planets like this you might have to pull the texture off more than once so like i said i'm going to be using a canvas wrapper so we'll screw it up a bit, crinkle it up so we get some lines on it. We'll place it over the paint. And we'll just give it a light rub. And take it off. So what I've done here is I've done the highlights and shadows wrong on this planet. I wasn't paying much attention to it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to re put the colours on here a bit. I'm going to bring the black down here and then the highlight here. So a bit of black, because the light source is going to come from this side on both the paintings. So a bit of white, and this white cap's a bit clogged up a bit here. As you can see it's spitting a bit, it's just... Now this is just stopped working completely clogged. I don't know why. Might be because they're old caps. Oh, I mean, look, I've got one. So let's just right. So find another cap for them standard skinny caps so that's good so now we'll go back to the texture now I've got the highlights and shadows the right way around so canvas wrapper place over top give it a light rub and then we'll peel it off produce your texture so I quite like that texture on there 
So we'll move on to highlights and shadows. So first you highlight with the white. And then the shadow with the black. Now we'll move on to the Montana Gold. I just remember where to put the highlights and shadows on this one, not like this one. So we'll go a bit of green, a bit of yellow, a bit of black, and a bit of white. See that one started to separate just slightly, just put a bit too much paint down, but it should be all right. As you can see, there's a bit of spitting from the caps here on this white paint. But we'll pull most of that paint off now when we do a texture. So back to the canvas wrapper. We'll place it on the wet paint. We'll give it a light rub. So I quite like that, so I'm going to leave that like that. The textures come out slightly different on both because I've done this twice with a black and white. And I like the texture on that one, so we'll add the highlights and shadows. So like I said, this white's spitting a bit. We'll just press it lightly, it hasn't spat there when you press the cap lightly. So now we'll go to the black, black shadow. So that's the highlights and shadows done on them too. Quite a lot of the textures on them. Like I said, they're slightly different from each other because I did this one twice. But both textures look really well. So now we'll move on to these planets here. And for this one, I'm going to be using the magazine paper. So again, we'll give the Hulk green. Fill it in. And the light yellow. black and a bit of white so these caps have started spitting a bit but not that much so we'll get the magazine paper now and we'll just crunch it up get some crinkles some lines in it what I'll do is just place it over the wet paint give it a light rub and then we'll peel it off Some highlights and shadows. Yes, yeah, this cap's spitting a bit there. You can see a few black spots here on the planet. And now the white highlight. So that one's done. I'm quite happy with the texture on there, apart from a few black spots there from the cap, but that doesn't matter. So we'll go on to this one. Montana gold, green there first. Yellow bit of black and some white put a bit of black over there right I'll go to magazine paper same thing crunch it up get some lines crinkles in it and we'll place it on and we'll give it a light rub you only really have to give this a light rub on any of the material you use when you're doing your texture So I quite like how that one's turned out, quite nice looking, so we'll go with the highlights and shadows, so the highlights first, lightly, and then the black, so there are the highlights and shadows on that planet. So they're all three planets done now with the highlights and shadows and the different textures using the different materials. So what we're going to have to do now is dry the paint. So you can either leave them to naturally dry. So depending on the weather, it might take 15, 20, 30 minutes to dry. Or you can use something to speed up the drying time. So for this, I'm going to be using a heat gun to speed up the drying time. So all you do with a heat gun or a hair dryer or something like that, is you want to hold it about a foot away from the painting and just move around the painting where the wet paint is because if you keep it in one spot for quite a long period of time it'll start burning the paint and it'll bubble
we'll move over to this one so these look pretty dry so I'll just try this one so that one's dry that one's dry that one's still a bit tacky this MTN 94 seems to dry pretty fast these two are completely dry already so with this one being the last one it might need a quick blast with the gun a bit more so I'll just let that one to cool down so we'll try this one yeah, and the Montana Gold, it's pretty fast drying paint as well, that's already dry, that one's already dry, and that one's almost dry, because I did them like one at a time on each one, these two first planets are, all, are completely dry. So what I'll do is leave these to cool down for a minute or so. Right, so I'll let these cool down a bit from the heat gun, so I'll just check them. Yeah, they're completely dry, and they are also. So now we'll move on and place the lid stencils on the paintings. So what you want to do is get the lid stencils and place them on the sheet where your plants are going to go, but make sure you put a bit of a shadowed area in the highlighted area underneath the lid. So we'll have that one there. That one there. And that one there also place these on and there so like I said I'm also going to be putting some weights on these are just to hold the lid stencils in place so this is why I say you want your paint to be completely dry before placing your lid stencils on because if they're not dry and you place your lid stencils on, the lid stencils will stick in the wet paint. So when you lift them off, you'll have a ring around your planet. And also, if you're using weights to hold your lid stencils in, the extra weight on top of the lid stencils will push it deeper into a wet paint. So it would definitely leave a ring on your planet. So if you are going to use weights on top of your stencils, or you want nice clean planets, just make sure the paint's dry before placing your lid stencils on them. That way you'll get a lot better results than placing the lid stencils on when the paint's still wet. So now we have the lid stencils in place, we'll move on to the background. So for this I think I might put a bit of a galaxy or something in each of these. So first up we'll do the, the MTN one, the MTN 94. we we'll get some colours. I'll we'll spray a bit of green there. I think I might just have a galaxy like this. I'll have it a bit wider there. Just spray a bit of light around your lid stencils. So you get no over spray or under spray going underneath them onto your planet. Then we'll have a bit of yellow, light yellow in the middle. See this cap spitting a bit. Let me just give it a bit of a clean off. So you can see there's quite a bit of build up here around the cap. So what we'll do is we'll just give it a bit of a clean off. And you can also get a craft knife for summer and just scrape some of the dry paint away from the nozzle. So then it's like that, so it's a bit cleaner. So, so that's not spitting now. So we've cleaned the caps. So if your caps do start spitting like that, just give them a bit of a clean off, a bit of a wipe. So now what I might do is add a bit of white in the middle of this. Just a line. See what it's like for a line. Well like that nice thin line there comes out. Really like how that cap spray that line. Gives you real good control over how much paint is going to come out of the cap when you press it. So put a bit of black on here. I'm going to do to make some texture for a bit of galaxy in the background is I'm going to be using a canvas wrapper so just crunch it up a bit and for this I'm just going to hold it in my hand like this I'm just going to dab it onto the onto the sheet so just out, watch out when you close your lid stencils you don't move them but with having weights on them 
the less chance of the lid stencils are going to move because they're holding them in place. So we'll just dab that on. So as you can see, we've got a lot of paint on this now. So I'm going to swap this over for a fresh piece because if you don't, all you're going to be doing is transferring the black off this onto back onto your painting. So it'll start getting all black over the colours. So get another piece, crunch up. And dab it on. As you can see, I've got a fresh piece and the colours are coming back through. Whereas here, it's a bit black where I pressed the colours. So I'll just go back over that. Bring a bit of a black back off. Might just have a bit round there like that. You can always cover some up if you don't like it. So I like that on there. And what I'll do is I'll move on to this one and do the same. So, a bit of green. Lightly round your lid stencils. So this cap's spitting a bit, but not much. So we can do the same here, give it a bit of a wipe, clean the nozzle off. Now a bit of a yellow. So the pressures in each of the cans seem about the same when you're pressing. You've got good control on both. The um, gold cap lets a bit of a wider line out, but not much. Still skinny enough. But the valve systems are working great on both of them. We'll cover that in black. same with the canvas wrapper so we'll crunch it up and just dab it on so this will just give you a random pattern some texture in the background What I'll do is just move it, wrap it around a bit to get some clean pieces. Bring a bit around there. So I like how that's looking. So now what we'll do is we'll fill the out rest of the sheet in black. Like I said, the black on here, the valve system, doesn't let too much paint out, but enough to cover the background pretty fast. And the, and the low pressure valve system, a really nice valve to use, good control over it. So now we'll go to the black on the Montana Gold. As you can see, it feels about the same as the MTN. Spitting just slightly the cap. I'll just give that a bit of a wipe. So now we've got the black in the background. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try a bit of misting, see what these caps are like and the valve system are. So what for this, we're just going to press the cap down lightly and just mist the paint on the side of these galaxies. Add a bit of yellow, see what the yellow's like, missed it. So we've got a bit of spit in here from the yellow. So I quite like how that's looking there. Doesn't matter about a spoon, we can have some yellow stars in there, some colourful stars in the background. 
But like I said, if the cap starts spitting, just give them a clean off. So now we'll go on to the Montana Gold and do the same. Bit of mist in, so. Cap spitting, so I'll give it a clean. So it gives you nice control, the same as that, when you're misting, nice mist. Now I'll go on the yellow one. Nice mist there, well like that. A bit more green I think there. So I'm liking M2 paintings, the background there. So. What I'm going to do is get it black and I'm just going to go over a bit of it to black it out with bit in places. So it's black spitting a bit. Leave that like that. So I quite like that. I'm just going to black here in places. Fade in like that, and like a bit more like that. So I'm liking both of them. But one last thing, I'm just going to get a bit of green, hold it away a bit. Like that, a bit of yellow. And same here. Back to the black, just do a line there, there, bit of black there. Just put a bit of line so it looks like a bit of black in the background. So we have the backgrounds done, so I'm liking them, liking the texture on this in the galaxies. Now what we'll do is add some stars in to the backgrounds. First of all, I'll do the MTN 94. So what you want to do is spray a bit onto your fingers here. like that and then once you have some on your fingers flick it away from the painting a couple of times to get most of the paint off and then flick the rest onto your painting that way you won't get big white blobs on your painting that don't look like stars and a couple more so I like that so I'll just wipe this MTM white off my finger. Now we'll go on to the Montana Gold. So spray some on your fingers, flick away, and then flick the rest onto the sheet. So we have a small stars in place and I'm really liking both of these paintings at the moment. So now we're going to add some bigger stars using these two tools. So that's the reason why I went over here and left a bit of a black area. So I can place the stars in it so they glow a bit better, show up in the painting more. So first off we'll go the Hulk Green and we'll spray through the middle of this card. This just helps to prevent all the paint going on your painting and gives you a nice circle shape, glowing shape. We'll put one here. I think I'll have one here, why not? We'll do the same with the Montana Gold, the shock light green. See, sometimes the paint will stop spraying through the cap because you're holding the cans like this. To eliminate that, all you do is spray it upright and feed some of the paint through the cap again, and then it'll work. So we'll do that. So we've got the green on using this piece of card with the hole in the middle. 
it just gives you control over where the paint's going so it gives you a nice dot on your painting so when you're making these glowing stars so now we'll get the yellow and we're going to put a yellow center in each of these so i missed out a bit messed that up wasn't looking through the middle So what you can do there, if you do mess something up, you can always go back. That's the beauty with spray paint. If you make a mistake or something, you can always easily cover it up and do it again. So that's the centre of that one. Now we'll move on to the Montana Gold, we'll do the same. And there like that so i'm liking them because you can see the stars have started forming now a bit of a glow to them so you can also add some just some white stars if you want some bigger white stars in your painting so just press the white same process as doing the others have one there i might have one there i'll have one there why not and one there. I right, swear, so some with that. One there. One there. One there. One here. Okay. Let's have one there in the middle. One down here, why not? So there are all the stars done using these two tools. And what you can also do, you can use something like a paint pen. Get a paint pen or something like that. Or a marker pen. What you can do is put a white dot in the middle of each of these stars. So we make them look even more like glowing stars. So we just put a white dot in the middle. And with the coloured stars, just put it in the middle of a yellow. So there you go, the white, they really look like glowing stars. I like the way these stars turn out. I like doing the stars like this. So now we have all the background done, the stars and everything added. We'll take the weights off these lid stencils. And then we'll take the lids off, reveal the planets for the first time. So we'll do this big one first. So take your time when you're lifting them off. And I really like how this one's turned out. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do each different size planets together. So we have that one. That turned out really well. So now we'll move on to this one. The canvas. Now this one. Now the last one, the magazine paper we did the texture with. And that one. So that's the lid stencils off the paintings, and I'm really happy with the way both of these have turned out. I think they both look awesome. But as you can see, the MTN 94 one's slightly duller than the Montana Gold one. That is because the MTN 94 is a matte finish, whereas the Montana Gold one is a semi gloss finish. The MTN 94 low pressure valve system worked really well and gave you good control over the paint flow when pressing the cap down at different pressures. I really liked the valve system on them. And also the low pressure valve system on the Montana Gold worked really well. It also gave you good control over the flow of paint when pressing the cap down with different pressures. And it worked really well. So I'm happy with both the valve systems in both of these brands. It worked really well. So moving on to the caps, both caps worked really well for making spray paint art as you can see. There were a few spitting issues with both of the stock caps. 
So first up, the MTN 94 spitting issue. To resolve that, all you have to do is keep the nozzle clean, and then the spitting issue is resolved. And you also saw that the white cap got blocked up when I was painting this painting. The only reason for that is, is because I used an old cap that I used in a previous painting on the can, and there must have been some dry paint or something inside it, and it's just blocked up. If I'd have been using a new cap on that, that issue wouldn't have happened. So I'm quite happy with the way them caps worked for spray paint art. So moving on to the Montana Gold Stock cap. As you saw while I was painting the painting, there were a few spitting issues from the cap. I'm not really sure why the stock gold cap does that. Even when you put a fresh new cap on, it still seems to spit after a few sprays. The only thing I've found to avoid that is if you change the cap over to, a, to an aftermarket cap. Something like an aftermarket skinny cap. And that way the spitting issue is resolved. But apart from that, the Montana Gold works really well for making spray paint art. So all in all, both brands of spray paint will work for making spray paint art. It's just up to you which ones you choose and which ones you prefer to use or you like using. So going back to the finishes on these spray paint, where I said this one had a matte finish and this one had a semi-gloss finish. What I'm going to do to finish off the video is I'm going to give both of these a clear coat to see what happens. So the clear coat I'm going to be using is the Montana Varnish Clear Coat, which is a gloss clear coat. And all I'm going to do is spray both of the paintings to see what happens. So I'll spray the MTN 94 one first. I'm not sure whether this re will react with the other paint because they're two different brands of spray paint. But we'll only find out when we sprayed it on. See if there's a reaction. So that's that one. And then now we'll do the Montana Gold one. So I'm using two cans of clear coat for this because I've not got much in each of the cans. So I want an even spray of both as I spray it on. So that's a clear coat on and why the paint's still wet I'm going to sign it so one there and one there so there the painting signed so I'm just going to have a closer look at this MTN 94 one see if there's any reaction from the clear coat and there's not which is great so I know for in the future I can use a Montana clear coat with the MTN 94 and as you can see, adding a clear coat to it makes the colours pop a bit more. So I'll just give you a closer look at each of these. First up, the MTN 94. And as you can see, adding that glossy clear coat gives it a nice gloss finish. Nice shiny finish. Over to the Montana Gold one. So I hope you found the information in this video helpful and enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and share the video. And also, which one do you think turned out the best? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you're a new visitor to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. It'd be very much appreciated. And once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day. Take care and bye for now.